Hi friends, this is Pastor Mike. This is a big week for the church. Christmas Eve and all the grand celebrations. We have services scheduled on Christmas Eve for 5.30. That's the family and kids service. Eight o'clock, which is uh, the music service and candlelight. And then 11 o'clock for uh, candlelight and communion. I've had folks asking me if we're going to still do these services and if we're going to have in-person worship. And the answer is yes. Um, here's some things we should know, however. Uh, folks are concerned about COVID and especially the Omicron uh, variant uh, that may or may not be present in, in Morgantown. Um, I believe right now we've got about 280 active COVID cases in Morgantown, which is honestly pretty good for West Virginia. Uh, but nevertheless, here are some things we'd like for you to know. Um, to care for our neighbors and fellow church members and, and guests, we're going to ask that if you come to worship and your face can handle it, i.e. if you're not a young child, we ask you to, to wear a mask. Uh, the N95 ones are, are the best if you have access to those. Also, uh, we in, would invite you to sanitize your hands uh, before you come in the building or when you come in, we have those hand sanitizing stations as well. Um, be alert to your, your neighbors um, and um, gauge their comfort level as far as sitting close to them or, or touching. Um, I'm doing a lot of this nowadays uh, to welcome folks and to say, to say hi. Um, those are, are some, some good practices for us to have. If you do not feel comfortable being present, we're going to broadcast all three of those services on our YouTube and Facebook channels, and we pray that the technology all works for us. But you're welcome to join in that way. We anticipate that the 11 o'clock service uh, won't be heavily attended, so if you're looking for one that uh, has low attendance, that's probably the one. Drink some coffee <laughs> um, before you come and stay up with us to celebrate. We hear the message of Jesus, of how much he loves us, how he's come to us, so vulnerable and yet so powerful as our Savior. We've heard his message that we love our neighbors and we care for them. So we, uh, we practice some things that might inconvenience us, but help us care for one another. We'll see you Christmas Eve, online or in person. Merry Christmas.